We just got to the gym, it's pretty late. The time is currently 8.30 and we're about to commence into a back and bicep workout. So what's going on guys, Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is day two with Simba, the man in the background. We're about to hit our second workout together. Yesterday was push, shoulders, chest and triceps. Today, back and biceps. We literally just got back from Best Buy because the man himself has been using and seeing the footage that this camera produces. I was like, you know what? I want to get a new camera for myself. So we just got back from Best Buy and this is how that went down. All right, let's do this. What's going on? Um, right now we are looking at cameras because getting rid of this camera and we're gonna get something not as good as Brenda's but a little bit Dude, lower. it's like the same camera. <laughs> Pretty much the same. This one that we are looking at. Yeah, and this is the one I've currently got right now. I have the EOSR which is Canon's first mirrorless camera. It's a digital frame. This is the EOSR P which is just like the downgrade but it's still the EOSR and it's still like freaking incredible. What do you have right now? EOSR T7i T7 which I. is a DSLR. It's okay but our guy needs more. So we're gonna upgrade something much better so we can bring you guys a lot better footage. Can't help but think I'm to blame for what Simba's about to do because obviously him seeing like the footage that this camera produces and me having told him who currently uses the EOS RP and how good their footage is, it may have convinced this guy to become a poorer man all about upgrading and investing into the future. So honestly, like I feel like if you get this, seeing it in your hand, the proud owner of an EOS R, I'm gonna be like a proud father. <laughs> so what happened? We got in the there pretty much they don't have uh, the lens that we wanted they have the body but the lens itself is like the older one and we want the L model the L series the L series yeah the new so. one back to the gym exactly now we're gonna hit back and biceps and let's go kill it unsuccessful but regardless nevertheless we're gonna make up for the traumatic experience to being mugged off by having an incredible back and bicep workout we have the belt we have the liquid chalk because me and Simba we're gonna be deadlifting for the first time in like three maybe four weeks I can't believe I haven't deadlifted it in this long so pretty interested to find out how I'm actually gonna do. I'm either gonna be really weak or really freaking strong. We're gonna find out right now how that is about to go down, but sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Simba's gonna go for the two scoop stim and the one scoop pump again. Personally, I'm just gonna do one scoop stim. Did half the scoop yesterday, was pretty good, but we're gonna go for a full scoop today with one scoop of pump. Products that I've never used, but we're testing out what Simba uses on a daily basis. And we're gonna be mixing it in the HG Muscle two liter jug. Usually, as you know, I'm quite susceptible to stims, but I'm actually not that worried because after the workout, we're gonna head back, get a post-workout meal, and then we're gonna be heading to this club tonight called Rebel, which is like a really big club that has like different rooms with different music in downtown Toronto. Obviously, with Simba being here, we do need to here up the town we do need to go i haven't actually been out in the longest freaking i think I, dude it's been like since new year's gonna make the most of it it'll be the last time i actually go out before prep because when i'm on prep i do not like to drink or do anything else so it'll be the last time i actually go out and enjoy myself before prep really begins oh my god <laughs> one time i almost choked and died from this what? i was like i saw i took the scoop and i was like you know what would be a good idea let me chase it with monster so i go to drink monster oh, and then i like inhale all the powder before i put the monster in and i start <laughs> <laughs> Easy. 
So we are about to hit five plates for maybe like one rep. What's your max? Five and a half, yeah. So we're gonna get that today, right? Six plates. <laughs> As you may or may not know, my current max is 600 pounds. So that's six plates and like a little nugget. I'm gonna try and hit six plates today. I think when I start prep is when, like obviously in the beginning of prep, when I start to drop body fat, supplementation is introduced to the body more so. So that's when like my strength kind of like increases quite drastically, the prime time that I would like ideally PR. But we're gonna try and hit six plates today. If I can't hit six plates, I'm just gonna be like, Brandon, what the, f what, what has happened? Come on, up, easy. That was so easy. Yeah. That was so easy. <laughs> so what's gonna happen now, five and a half? Five and a half, that's my whole time. You know if you get this right, we're gonna put like five aside extra. We'll do the calculation, but yeah. you're gonna hit 10 pound more. Okay, let's do it. Because that was too easy. Right, let's do it, let's do it. If five plates went up that easy and your PR is only half a plate higher than that, there could be a chance that you PR today. Five plates for me, it actually felt really good. I'm actually really happy about that. So we're gonna try and hit five and a half as well. And then if that feels good, we shall go to six plates. Let's go. Up. Even though the five and a half didn't go up as fast as I would have liked it, we're still gonna try six. And in the fashion of a good back and bicep day, it would be rude not to try. Let's Here go. we go. This is it, man. <laughs> yeah, come on. Easy. Up. <laughs> yes, man. Oh, too bad. I think you got another 10 pounds. Come on. Let's go. Up, up. Easy. <laughs> that was by no means easy. My eyes are definitely bloodshot. Should we try PR? Nah, I, I always do this. I always let it get to my head. I'm gonna save myself. First time deadlifting in a month. Oh man. I feel like I'm gonna let myself down. But let's see if you can PR first. Okay. Let's yeah. Come on! Feel good, but that was <laughs> Oh, that was so ugly, but we got it. Yeah, we got it. I'm gonna leave the PR up to you. I'm gonna save that special moment for Simba because I'm gonna listen to my body for once. I'm gonna be smart for once in my life because I'm happy with six plates. I think I could potentially hit 600 pounds because that was just 585. Yes, 600, but I don't think I'm gonna PR right now. And I'd like to actually start prep. I still need to speak about that because the Toronto Pro Show that I said I was gonna do in a previous video, I probably can't actually do that anymore because I'm not a resident of Canada, so I can't can't do the regional qualifier because I don't have a residency card because having an address in Canada isn't enough. I need to actually have a residency card, which I don't actually have. I am gonna still enter the Lee Valley regional qualifier in London, which is a two bros event, and then enter the amateur Olympia in Portugal, the original plan. Really happy with how deadlift just went. We're probably gonna drop it down to like two or three plates, do a bunch more reps, and then uh, get started with probably like lap pull down, all about doing things different. Not that we do this at the beginning of every single back workout. Stay consistent. <laughs> Alright, so next, as you can see, moving on to the standing row machine. Obviously, as you can see, you can do this machine seated. We're actually choosing not to. I actually prefer this machine when you actually stand up. We're using a close grip, specifically trying to target the lower back, like right under here. Squeeze more, hold it, slowly down. Nice. Another reason why I prefer to actually stand on this machine and not sit down is because when you're sat down, trying to like pull weight back, you can like pull a little bit from the ground up. So like, you're on the machine, like my ass, I feel like that's like, I can like use the momentum of like my, like being sat on the machine itself to make the weight a little bit easier for me. But obviously if I'm freestanding and still keeping my chest against the pad itself, I feel like I'm definitely making this exercise harder for myself, which is ideally what you want to be doing. Bring the seat back down. I 
of all the machines here. All of them. <laughs> Good shit. Alright, so we're coming to the end of this back workout. We actually don't have enough time to train biceps, and honestly, like, my biceps are feeling pretty pumped now anyway. We are training legs tomorrow, so if we have enough energy after leg day, not sure that we will, but if we do, we'll do some biceps at the end of leg day tomorrow, but we do have to head off, so we're gonna do two more exercises. These are finisher exercises, and I'm gonna take you through what we're actually gonna be doing right now. We're gonna be using the cables. We're gonna be doing a super wide lat pull down. We're gonna get on our knees in the middle of the machine and just bring it back. We're not gonna lift too heavy because we are gonna be supersetting this as well. We actually have have the pleasure of using mag grips at pure so we're gonna be bringing this quite high just to finish our upper back and our lats a little bit this definitely is more for back thickness and the first one is for back width but combining them both we have a pretty sick hybrid kind of superset let's go it's like the crucifix really stretch your lats all the way up <sighs> Elbows high on this. finish getting ready this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing the henley alpha loop top that actually released about a week ago so if you didn't get one actually i think they're out of stock so i'll kind of let you plug it right now so if you didn't get it i'm extremely sorry and i'm not sure if there's going to be a restock but if there is you should probably pick one up as well as you can see wearing some legend london ripped and repaired jeans and then some pretty beaten up loafers just to finish it off we probably should have headed out like 15 minutes ago but we still need to do some shots and get the night started let's see what you're wearing dude what are you wearing I'm fresh man thank you thank you thank you uh, hey. <laughs> the black top Jeans, classy up top. Looking good, man. Hey. <laughs> we have a bowl of Grey Goose, potentially three shots, and then we're gonna Uber to downtown Toronto to go to this club called, shit, what's it called again? Rebel. Rebel, Rebel. If you've heard of Rebel, that's where we're about to go. Got to do it right. Oh. Three, two, two one. one. Good morning guys, it's actually been about five days now since Simba actually left and the reason this video has been uploaded so, so freaking late is because over the past three days, Zane from Manchester, you guys know Zane, I said in a previous video that he was going to be coming down to film the intro video for Hard Body Shredding Road to Pro 2020. We spent the past three days just like filming, like didn't have a second to edit this video and actually upload it. So it's actually, like I said, five days in the future right now. I had such a good time with Simba. I'm so glad that he came for the weekend. That is definitely, like I said, the coolest thing I've ever been able to do with YouTube. In the beginning, yes, he was a subscriber, but we've both left this experience having a really good friend in each other. I think that's just the coolest thing. If you haven't actually subscribed to Simba, his link is going to be the first link in the description down below. We went to go and buy him the EOS R P, but he actually, as soon as he got back, bought the EOS R, not the P, but the same camera that I have right now. It's an expensive camera. He's invested in his future, and if you could go over to his channel and hit the subscribe button, I would really, really, <laughs> I, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Filming with Zane over the past three days, it went so well. I can't wait 
for you to see this. And honestly, like Zayn has filmed the intro and the outro, like the, the intro for the series and the show day video for the past like two years of hard body shredding. So it would be wrong of me to work with anyone else on this series. So I had to fly him here from Manchester to get it done. That should be releasing in the next two weeks on the 15th of March because the date I'm going to be starting prep, which is 16 weeks back from the regional qualifier, which is Lee Valley on the 5th and the 6th of July. And then the amateur Olympia on the 11th and the 12th of July, just a week later. So prep starts 16 weeks back from then, which is the 15th of March. With that being said, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.